Hello, greetings from Boonari. In today's GK topic, we will see how is a COVID test conducted? What are the different testing means available? Let's find out. The time since the pandemic began in 2019, it has spread all across the globe. Be it any rural villages or metropolitan cities, the virus has spread everywhere. Nowadays, old or young or children, all are getting affected by the pandemic. Earlier, when people had symptoms like cough or cold or fever, it was thought to be a normal flu which would subside within a few days. But now, even if a person sneezes or has a headache, it raises suspicion if it's COVID. The only way to make sure if a person is infected is by doing a test. Currently, there are three available methods. Number one, rapid antigen test. Number two, RT-PCR test. Number three, COVID cells. What are these three methods? Let's look at it. The first method is rapid antigen test. It is a quick and easy method to get the results. For example, it is mostly recommended if people are highly symptomatic as it gives the result immediately. It is useful when testing has to be done on a mass scale. Hence, this type of testing is now done at railway stations, shopping malls, etc. so that the result can be acquired quickly. This helps to confirm whether a person is actually positive or not. If the report comes out positive, means it's a confirmed case. But in case the report is negative, that's not a confirmed result. You might need to do another test again. And the second test that needs to be done for accuracy is RT-PCR test. So what's involved in that? Take a look. What is an RT-PCR test? Let me explain. RT stands for reverse transcription. We have the double helix structures in our body that's called DNA. While if you look at a coronavirus, inside it, it doesn't have a DNA, but rather it has RNA inside it, which is a single strand. If a DNA is converted to RNA from the double helix to single strand, it is called transcription. But when we want to see if coronavirus is in our body, that is, when we want to check if we are COVID positive or not, we need to convert the RNA of the virus taken from the sample to DNA back. Hence, it is called reverse transcription RT. For example, when driving a car in the reverse gear, it moves the vehicle behind or backwards. Similarly, the process to convert RNA back to DNA is called reverse transcription. PCR means polymerase chain reaction. Poly means many and chain means links. Once a person who has the virus in the body or not goes for testing, then their sample is collected. It is out into a machine where the multiple chain links help in determining the person's test result as positive or negative. Once a result is out, it shows a CT value, that is, cycle threshold value. It is the number of links that are formed in the reverse transcription process, which is set to 35. This CT value can differ from person to person. It can be 16 for one, while it can be 20 for another, or it can be 30. For example, if you put oranges in a handheld manual juicer, rotating the handle on the first cycle might not give you the juice. Maybe after you do it a number of times or number of cycles, then the juice is secreted. Similarly, the number of cycles tells the CT value of that person. It means the number of cycles it takes to detect the virus in a person's sample. For some, the virus may be detected within 5 cycles, while for some others, 16 cycles might give the result that the person is positive. If 
after making repeated cycles till the threshold and if the virus is not detected then the person is declared negative so if the ct value of a person is 20 and another person's ct value is say 16 it doesn't mean one is at more risk than the other the comparison between the ct values doesn't really matter because once the virus is in the body it starts replicating anyhow hence each one needs to be careful. What is the other method? Take a look. If a person is doubtful whether he or she has contracted COVID but is fearing to go out as there might be long queues at the testing center. So what can they do if they want to know the test result without wasting their time? Nowadays, we also have COVID self-testing kits that we can buy. The cost of this kit is around 250 bucks and within 15 minutes after performing the test, you can get the result yourself. Before you use the kit, you should download the MyLab COVID Self app on your phone. Before you start the testing procedure, Sanitize or wash your hands thoroughly. Then open the kit and insert the swab into your nose, inside the nostrils and rub it well to collect the specimen. The swab is then swirled inside the extraction tube to mix with the liquid inside. Then put two drops from the extraction tube's outlet onto the testing card and check for the results. If two lines appear on the testing card, it means the report is positive. If it's only one line, it means the report is negative. And if there's no line, it means the test was invalid. There might have been something wrong with the testing procedure. These are the methods for finding whether a person is COVID positive or not. We are sharing this information as People who are carriers of the virus might be going out, standing in queues or there are doubts about accuracy of such tests or there are a lot of fake messages and information being spread through WhatsApp and other media that has created a panic among people due to which they fear coming ahead to get their tests done. Hence, this will help us to be well aware and conscious of the information about COVID.